Ivan takes the four oh, of you to an exclusive <laughs> restaurant on a private island. So you get off the boat and you're given a tour by a lovely lady named Elsa. Feel free to watch the cooks as they innovate. On that note, dessert. <gasps> Staff puts a marshmallow poncho on each and every one of you. And a hat made with chocolate. Help! 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 and not in the fun way. So, being the foodie that he is, Ivan takes us. Uh, oh my god. He is yeah. awful. Oh my god. We're going to yeah. Charlie yeah. Sheen. Yeah. Yeah. Ivan Rex. No Ivan recommendations. Ivan takes the four oh. of you to an exclusive <laughs> restaurant on a private island called Hawthorne. It's $1,250 a head. That's your money, right? That's crazy. So you get off the boat and you're given a tour by a lovely lady named Elsa. The first stop is the beach where they're harvesting the fresh scallops that you're eating tonight. Ooh. Okay. Okay. When it gets oh. scary. So you guys get a choice of the location. This sounds nice. It's just a little expensive, but. The second stop is the smokehouse where they use the meat <gasps> of dairy cows in which they age them for 152 days to relax their protein strands. The third stop is where the workers live. It's this the people is farm. their <laughs> sleeping station. So as you head to the restaurant, you pass by the chef's cottage, but no one's allowed to go there. But this is how it looks. <clears throat> oh. How much How much I pay to be here again? Yeah. Yeah, over $1,000 to eat people, Kurt. You finally make it to the restaurant. Oh, show me the food, Dad. I'm so scared. Show me the food. You can see oh. the chefs and everything. Elsa tells you, feel free to watch the cooks as they innovate, but please do not take pictures of our dishes. As the chef Why? feels I'm playing that... Fortnite on my phone. As the <laughs> chef feels that the beauty of his creations lies with their ephemeral nature. Lame. <laughs> This looks like an Ikea kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it does. So the chef comes in and goes, You ever just get accused of crimes you didn't commit? No? Y yeah, me either. You ever been in a car accident before? Yeah, me too. Nothing scarier than your life flashing before your eyes. And then getting given a bunch of paperwork with big words that I personally do not comprehend. Like, bruh, I just suffered a mild concussion from when I was born. How do you expect me to do mathematics with words? Anyways, injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. Because going out kind of sucks. In 8 clicks or less, you can submit a claim to Morgan & Morgan. Submitting a claim for an injury doesn't have to be a stuffy process. With Morgan & Morgan, there's no need for you to visit law offices and sit through timely consultations. You can submit a claim and have a lawyer review your case with only 8 clicks on your phone. Morgan & Morgan is a 21st century law firm that has modernized the injury law process making it so easy to submit a claim. You can submit your case details, sign contracts, upload documents, and medical records all from your cell phone. And you can even text your attorney and legal team throughout the duration of your case. Submitting an injury claim after a car accident is a no-brainer. Contacting a personal injury attorney should be your first step in a car accident. It's a no-brainer and it costs you nothing unless they win. You have nothing to lose and a firm like Morgan & Morgan can quickly determine if you have a case. Don't overthink it. Take action to protect your rights and Morgan & Morgan will fight to get the compensation you deserve. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more information, you can go to forthepeople.com slash recreo or dial pound L-A-W. That's pound 529 on your cell phone. Thanks to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video. My name is Den Slowick. In the next few hours, you'll ingest fat, salt, protein, just tell sugar, us you're a cannibal bacteria, already. Yeah. Oh, fungi, tell us it's people. Why are you saying ingest? Plants. You guys have yeah. chicken tenders? No, we do not. <laughs> this is fine dining, and at times you will eat entire ecosystems. <gasps> what? But I have what to beg one <laughs> thing of you, just one: do not eat. Taste savor relish 
but do not eat. Relish, Let's you can eat hot. though. <laughs> Our menu Thank you, is too precious for that. <laughs> Wait, so we're just supposed to lick it? <laughs> like, Wait, what do I do here, chef? I paid twelve hundred dollars to to sniff the food. <laughs> Taste you want me to and do? savor your relish. No, I, okay, but why are we eating it and spitting it out? What are you gonna do with the spit out food? Why are we recycling <laughs> it for? Curse, stop being so ungrateful. <laughs> Why do you understand more? fine dining, Let me bro? Eat. On that note, the first course. What the hell is this? Got, it's gonna be a face. Oh. It's gonna be a person. What do you That's mean? A person, what bro. is uh, happening? I don't like it's oysters. Just, these people? It's just the first course. Oh wait, that's Whoa. a barnacle. That looks like a mound of <laughs> dirt, Dad. What do you, what do you yeah. want me to eat or sniff or whatever? Wait, wait, wait. So, wait, wait. Go back. So, was the food just the scallop and everything else was not food? <laughs> well, you <laughs> eat everything. That, that was a waste of time. Huh. You, this is a thousand dollars? Yo, Christine passed the scallop. I'm trying to get a lick. Are we all taking turns taking a lick of it? All right. What am I so looking at there? On your plate are plants around the island placed on rocks from the shore, covered in barely that- frozen filtered seawater, which will flavor your, di- your dish as it melts. This person watched too much Food Wars. I mean, <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> so stop. that is your first course. You guys have a choice. Each of you have a choice. You can either take a picture of your me- meal. Blah, blah, blah. Take a picture of your meal. Whoa. Eat there? it. Don't eat it. Or you could savor your meal. I didn't pay twelve hundred dollars to not eat things. Put that on me. I, you know that scene from Monster House with the fat guy in the arcade where he just grabs it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's me. I grab the scalp and I go. <laughs> and then I run away. I want to. I want to savor it. I want to savor. I want to. I want to. I've already ate it. There ain't no scallop. We're <laughs> licking the rocks I, around it. Okay. Yeah, I lick the rock. I grab Y'all the scallop and I start. I start rubbing it all over my body like this. Can I lick it first before you do that? (laughs) (laughs) No, you're being ungrateful. So all of you are savoring? No, Ivan's eating it, but I'm savoring it. (laughs) I eat it. I put the whole thing in my mouth really fast. And I don't even chew. I'm savoring it. Okay. I don't get yelled at. (laughs) Ivan, why are you doing this? Somebody has to make the wrong decisions here. (laughs) Bread has existed in some form for over 12,000 years. It is and has always been the food of the common man. Wait, bread? Yes, bread. (laughs) But you, my dear guests, are not the common man. So tonight, you get no bread. Uh, What the fuck? Second course. (laughs) I guess I'm Uh, living. Here is the second course. The breadless Wait, so bread plate. You set up a whole thing about bread just to not give us bread. That's actually crazy. Because it's people. It's got to be. This is the people. This is your breadless They're giving plate. us toothpaste huh? and what? paint. Why did they show a big old thing of bread and then a bunch of paint? Just to remind you that you guys are not common people. Hashtag rare breed. Hashtag built different. <laughs> I'm a top G, bro. No, like, what does that mean, people, bro? bro? I'm a high value man. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> is anything on this plate edible? What is Everything this? Everything is edible. They're what you dip bread on usually. So I dip my fingers in each one and then I just start sucking. All it. right. So your choice again is you could take a picture of it, eat it, don't eat it, or savor it. What are we eating, I'm Dan? Not my eating it. <laughs> I'm not eating that. <laughs> oh, I'm taking a picture I'm... and then savoring it as evidence. Okay. I'm so. Why is you no gave one me asked... six sauces and no main course? <laughs> why? Why is no one asking? What the heck is a breadless bread plate? You just Curtis, said it. It's straightforward. It's straightforward. There's just no bread. What is so hard about this? Bro? There's just no bread. Why are you freaking out? It's so simple. There's just no, it's a breadless bread plate. What is so difficult about that? There's no bread on the it's, bread. You got it. You have it right. So you no. understand. Why? Why? Anyways. It's just a plate. It's a plate. Exactly. So what's so hard? 
is a fishless fish plate. That's a, that means there's no fish. That's the same idea, buddy. Why is that so hard what to is understand? So hard, hey, what is the purpose? I, I, know know that six, I know you're six, dude. You hit your head on the way in, bro. It's so hard about this. Get this guy some bread. He's dying over here. He doesn't understand what a breadless bread plate is. <laughs> Someone get him some milk. I, my intelligence will not be disrespected like this. I am not eating it. You're not anything, eating it? <laughs> no. I'm also not eating it. I'm protesting. I'm not eating your right, well, plate. I'm, all I'm savoring all of your guys' <laughs> shit. Can you take a picture? I'll send my plate over to Christian. I'll savor it. I'll take a picture of all of them and I'll savor the shit. I'll, I'll eat all of them differently too. I'll mix Christine's all together. Hey. <laughs> the next course is called Memory. We just move Me- it on. Memory? Yeah. Memory? Memory? Yeah. It's, it's meant brain. to evoke a memory. <clears throat> so let me tell you a memory of mine. When I was growing oh. up, oh my Tuesdays God. were taco night. Uh. Taco <laughs> Tuesdays. I'm about to eat this I'm about to She's eat serving us memories. <laughs> <laughs> Are you? I paid twelve hundred dollars for memories. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. like, All right, next we're about to eat sleep. <laughs> oh my God. Bro, imagine you're about to order and the waiter goes, man, I remember what I <laughs> Bro. Yo, let me eat, dog. When I was uh, seven, one Tuesday night, my father came home drunk, really drunk. <laughs> my mother grew angry and screamed at him. So my father wrapped a telephone cord around her neck and pulled oh. it tight. Oh. I wept. Oh. I screamed and begged him to stop. To make him stop, I finally stabbed him on the thigh with a kitchen scissor. <gasps> I suppose I should have stabbed him in the throat that evening, but we're not so smart when we're young. No, this is the third course. Pita. Chicken thigh. They gave us bread. That's pita. Because it's taco night. So... This is a smoked breast chicken thigh al pastor on our own tortilla. The images on the tortilla are made using laser engraving machines. What's on the tortilla? I love personalization. (laughs) What's on it? What do you mean the images on the tortilla? What's on it? Each of your tortilla has a picture on them. Ivan gets an image of all the restaurants he's given false reviews on, causing them to close down. Yep. Snake. Wow, why would you do that? Oh, Damn. Christine, oh Christine oh is given God. pictures of people, people's lives she's it's ruined people. in her oh. business mogul adventures. Let's go! I'm on there. Oh, Let's eat it. Let me eat it. <laughs> she is a mogul. Okay. And also, one of Christian's pictures is of him taking a picture of his previous meal. Do you mean the wow. air How'd they from get the that? Bread, bread platter? Oh, no. How'd they do that? <laughs> it's a picture of me and Christian arguing about the breadless bread platter. And Kurt gets a bunch of pictures of all his exes. Yeah. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yo, Kurt, how come you only got two pieces of bread? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it's time for the fourth course. Ladies and gentlemen, please meet our sous chef, Jeremy. Jeremy is okay, talented. Okay. He- I go up to Jeremy, I'm like, I'll take a Caniac combo <laughs> and no small extra toast. So Jeremy is talented. He's good, but he's not great. I'll be the judge of that. He'll never <gasps> be great. He's de- he desperately Dang. wants my prestige, my job, my shit, talent. Like, yeah. He aspires for greatness, but he'll never achieve it. What a loser. Just like me, <laughs> Jeremy is under pressure. <laughs> the pressure to make the best food in the world. Damn, I know you're a chef, but he's getting cooked, bro. <laughs> and even if everything goes right, you can't avoid the mess. The mess you make of your life, your sanity, by giving everything oh you have God. to pleasing, People you will oh never know. God. He's definitely a Tumblr user. Oh my God! He is. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 oh! Oh, that was so been. nice. Now kiss him on the lips. That was kind of nice, though. What's going on? Oh, oh, here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, personally, that would never happen to me. Guys, sit down. Sit down. It's a part of the menu. A it's a part of the show. Calm down. Ivan, where did you find Just this place? Down. I got a Groupon. Do you I don't want know, man. No, got a Groupon. <laughs> I saw it on Instagram. This is Jeremy's fourth 
course. Whoa. This guy's oh, he so in there. Oh, Wait, is he in there? In there? That's got to be him, bro. This is the people. Whose bone marrow is that? Yeah, who's, 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 who's that? Is it, is, it a, is it a person's or is it a cow's? <laughs> <laughs> I go, whoa, relax, guys. There's enough Jeremy to go around. Okay. It's, it's not him. It's not him. They roll him up in the tarp, and then they serve you the meal, the fourth course that you saw. I look around, and I go, yo, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's an exclusive experience what? for the one yeah, percenters. Damn. Christian goes, well, that just happened. <laughs> yeah, exactly. the, chef, the chef pulls up to us, and Christian goes, he's right behind me, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So your choice is to either eat, don't eat, savor, or leave. I'm going to savor this. This guy can only die Christian once. Oh my God, it. Christian. You know what, Dan? I'm going to commit and I'm just going to eat it. I'm just eating You're it. Gonna oh. eat it? I'm doing nothing because I'm not going to leave because pe clearly these people have a weird culty thing going on. Also, I paid $1,000. I'm savoring it. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our fifth course. Let us take the evening outside. Bro, six course meal, no eat, run. <laughs> We're talking about running. Our next course uh is men's folly. <laughs> to our male diners, you now have a chance to escape. Members of my staff will try to catch you. I don't want to escape. Places you can run or hide to are the places mentioned in our tour. Choose wisely. I run to the slaughterhouse and I set myself up to hang just like the cows. Oh my God. Oh my I'm going to hide under a bed in the in the quarters. <sighs> Take me to the chef's, the chef's joint. Okay. I'm dead. Anyway, so a Christian at the slaughterhouse, he gets caught by the staff. Ivan, of course, of course he does. Ivan, being in the sleeping quarters, gets caught by the staff. Oh my God! Uh, oh. Don't tell me the beach was the best. No. Being at the chef's house, these are the pictures that Kurt finds. At Tantalus, a chef on the bleeding edge, bro. Yeah, someone's bleeding. That's for sure. Kiss the cook. He was oh, like, get it? Because he kissed. He kissed. He does his leg shame. So what do we do now? What do we do with this information? Hamburger Howie's employee of the month. Hamburger Howie! Me and Christian are going to get bro. cooked. What does Kurt do to, to save us? He also finds a radio. Bro, oh, I'm. can I use that joint? Yes. <laughs> yeah, there's... Oh. Bro, all right, yeah. Can I turn on the radio? You turn somehow, on like, the radio. Dial some. You can ask for help. <laughs> Help me! People are getting eaten and not in the fun way. We gotta get out of here, bro. Kurt radios for help and he's told to head towards the beach. Fuck. <laughs> what happens? So, <laughs> Kurt leaves the chef's house and before he reaches the beach, he gets found by the staff. Of course, of, of course, course he I does. Do. Of course Go to does. the beach, you come here. <laughs> are you kidding me? But you're, oh you're all God. still alive. What do you mean? Savor this. So as you guys are waiting for dessert, you see the Coast Guard dock on the island. I go, you'll be tempted to ask him for help, to plead even. This would be unwise. He cannot help you. Ask yourself two Ooh. things. One, I believe that. If you want to be responsible for the death of an innocent man, two, Yo, I'm pulling the lever. This entire evening, why didn't you try to get away at all? Wait, because, because I down. paid so much no, money. I, was, I thought we were getting we food. Paid, I, paid <laughs> yeah. I ate a scallop off a dirty rock. I've come <laughs> committed. The Coast Guard walks in and he goes, I got a distress signal of disturbance, a violent one. Yes. Is everyone go, here no, okay? It's fine, bro. We're just, we're just having fun. No, get out of here. So oh, what do you want to do? What do you guys want to do? I, I say, get out of here, bro. This is worse than fire five. festival. Get me out of here. First, <laughs> what do you, <laughs> you guys have to decide as a group. Either you yell for help or you let him leave without anything. No, this is what I'm doing. I'm like, officer, it's totally fine. There's nothing <laughs> going on here. Animator, I'm blinking the entire time. So everyone's I can't okay. I believe this. Everyone's okay. But as he's leaving, he recognizes the frugal aesthetic. <gasps> yeah. He's like, oh, dude, I love he's frugal aesthetic. He's a fan. And I go, I shake his hand. I'm like, all right, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, you want his autograph or something? Get it. I, I saw the autograph. <laughs> All right, get out of here, loser. Right. 
All right, he peacefully leaves and walks out of there. Why didn't you? What? Put the what did you sign? Man, I, say? it's so embarrassing getting recognized. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's time for dessert. It looks like everyone ate their food and savored their food, except Kurt. Why? Why didn't you eat? Aren't you hungry? Kurt, well, ungrateful. You could request one meal from the chef. One meal of your choice, any meal. But before you choose your your meal, I'm thinking it's gotta do something with the hamburger. You know I'm like, I wanna, let me get a hamburger. Help me. <laughs> so the chef makes Kurt <laughs> the best hamburger he's ever tasted. He smiles, remembering the memories he's had making food again, and he lets Kurt go. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Kurt leaves the island, but everyone yeah, yeah. else, on the other hand, gets to enjoy dessert. <gasps> what is the dessert? For dessert, then? we are having s'mores. Okay. Yeah, oh, man, that guy's missing out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we about it. The eat. staff puts a marshmallow poncho on each and every one of you, and a hat made <laughs> with chocolate. <laughs> Thank you for dining with us tonight. You represent the ruin of my life and my art. I then grab wow. a burning piece of charcoal and drop it in the middle of the restaurant, setting the whole <laughs> building and everyone yeah. into flames. <gasps> Meet. After Kurt leaves, the Coast Guard shoots Kurt because I wrote that on the paper. <laughs> <laughs> Recreo out. You know what? A thousand dollars, kind of a deal. Oh for this. my god. You like salad? You like eating grass? I don't know where I'm going with this. Thank you to our patrons for letting us cook, for letting me cook, even though I haven't cooked in a hot minute. Thank you so much, Sharina Mew, Calvin Nuong, Barzinator, and Drew Boranis. See you in the next one. Boy.